Hi Digital Planners, this is Tina Phillips and I will try this again. My first video did not take the sound and I do apologize and I will get this one up as soon as possible. And this is basically to show you my process for how to do the video, for how to do the sticker categories in uh, GoodNotes. And I will try to be fast because I really want to get this back up for you guys. Um, and what I basically did was use the GoodNotes uh, features of master categories and categories. And then I used a template that I created, which I will share a whole set with you guys so you can try this on your own. And this kind of came about by accident. I uh, created my own, um, I started doing an overhaul on my store on making all of my stickers available for uh, easily ease, use, ease of use and not have to be cropped anymore. So they were all ready to go. All you had to do was copy and paste. So they were all cropped in the individual. And in this process, I had to bring them all into GoodNotes. And I needed a place to put them all to keep them separate. So I created a, a category uh, and, a, and a master category. So let me show you how, where that's organized. So in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see in Good Notes, you'll see that um, you have the idea of doing categories. And I have a bunch in here right now. And if you click that plus sign, it'll give you the option of, using, of creating a category or a master category. And I went ahead and chose master category because it'll give me the option later on to put subcategories inside of there instead of just having a category with files in it. So, um, and I created and called mine all stickers. And later on, if you ever want to uh, change the rename, you just press and hold and it'll give you a little menu of either rename or trash. And you can just go inside of there. And I created another uh, category called a wild plane sticker sets because this is where I put all of my stickers. And I can probably organize them even better later on. And once again, if you click and hold, it'll out allow you to either rename, move, or go and crash. And so that's all you really have to do in the, to get the organizational part right. You want to put all of your stickers in one place. And if you look at this, it kind of gives you a nice little um, visual. You have uh, kind of a all in one place. You can see your stuff, which makes it easier than putting it into a sticker book that you have to sit there and also deal with the, the tabs and things like that. And yes, I do sell a sticker book in my shop. But that was based on a customer request and I do think this one this uh, process works a little bit better for me and I will also show you how to create the templates and you could you could use the good notes uh, template stuff but the problem with that is their resolution is a little bit different than my uh, planners my planners are a much higher resolution so when you zoom in you still get high quality and that's why I'm giving you the templates that way you don't get literally Pardon the pun, you don't get sticker shock when you bring in another sticker and it's like huge and fuzzy, so you don't have to worry about resizing anything. So when you download the templates from my website, it should be just below the video. Um, all you do is save it, unzip, unzip it because it's a bunch of PDFs, and open GoodNotes. And you want to select options in the lower right hand corner and select template library. And as you can see, it automatically opens up wild paper. I've already created a whole category, but this is what you'll see when you first open it up. And you're going to also want to create your own folder. And as that plus sign in the upper left, type in your folder name and hit OK. And I want to go into my category. And as you can see, I already have a couple because I've already done this a couple of times. Again, I'm really sorry about the, um, about the audio not working, so now I'm talking pretty fast. Um, so what you're going to do after you save all the PDFs is you're going to um, hit edit in the upper right and then you want to hit the plus in the upper left. And I'm going to go through iCloud Drive to get to my Dropbox. And as you can see, I have a, a bunch of these. You're going to get like 12. I gave you six with words on there so you can easily read them what they are. Or I also gave you some, um, some uh, plain ones that you can just name yourself. And I'm just going to pull in seasonal one and if you scroll down you can see it right there and you want to hit done and just put outside of the the menu and it kind of goes away and so you want to start when okay I want to start a new seasonal note you want to say create notebook you do the plus sign add and then create notebook and when you do create notebook you do not want to cover on these because you want to see what's inside so you just go to the paper and you want to select seasonal and you want to name to seasonal. And you want to hit create. And there you go. 
And now you can also go through the process of like if you bought stickers from me, you can actually just copy them and move them around and paste them. And they're still the same size, so you never have to worry about resizing them or anything like that. And go back out and there's your there's your new uh, little notebook for your new sticker set. That's all there is to it. I found this a lot more flexible and easy and visually easy to find. And they, you know, it's also helps with file size. I've noticed a lot of people making like 700 page sticker books and I have a feeling you're gonna run into some performance problems because they, well, you know, they say good notes can hold any size as long as you have enough memory on your iPad, you're still probably gonna run into performance review, uh, performance issues. Um, with that much in there and this keeps each thing separately and you can always have like more than one tab open you don't really need to have one you know one uh one folder to hold them all so that's all i'm trying to do is help you make your life a little bit easier and i thank you for listening and i hope the sound comes through this time i thank you for being patient with me thank you so much bye